We are the Kaiser family. In May of 2023, we sold our house and most of our possessions to begin our dream of full-time travel. So here it is, everything must go sale. But for the next 13 months, we were stuck. We lived at the Jellystone Campground in Larkspur, Colorado in the summer and a ranch house in the winter. During this time, our overlanding rig build hit significant delays. Jeff and I both lost our dads, our family was apart for several months at a time, and our dream of full-time travel seemed far from reach. But at the end of July, things began to come together. Jeff resigned from his job, and the dream of our family being together full-time began. This is our story. Welcome to Sar Trail. We are on the amazing space coast of Florida. While here, we had amazing beach time. We ate dinner at a locally owned beachfront restaurant that was amazing. And we went surfing. Yeah. And we went on a kayaking tour you gotta see to believe. Good afternoon and welcome to Star Trail. For the next couple of days, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're still gonna be camping, but we're gonna be camping in an RV. Um, Jeff's mom was kind enough to loan us her RV and we have driven it up the coast. So we're making lunch. We're going to spend some time out at the beach because it is gorgeous up here. We are camping in Sebastian Inlet State Park and I got to say it's really warm and it's really warm in here. We're not running the AC. We got the windows open. <sighs> but with Natalie making sandwiches, which you know, we need some nice hot sandwiches on a nice warm day. It's a little free bread. I have to cook it. <laughs> we are having grilled turkey and cheese sandwiches on gluten-free bread. <laughs> this beach is so awesome! So Sebastian, Cocoa Beach, this is east coast of Florida. You can see the storm rolling in from the west, kind of building up over central middle of the state of Florida, rolling up. and. It just seems like this afternoon it's one after another. But man, we're getting some really good, really good ocean time in, in between storms. What did you do to the army? He's telling us to go. <laughs> So we're back from the beach, which was really a lot of fun. And tonight I'm gonna make a taco bake kind of thing. So it's kind of like a taco casserole. We're gonna cook inside tonight because it's, it's threatening to rain outside tonight. And so what I'm gonna start off with is cutting up some onion and starting some ground beef. All right, so what are our ingredients, Natalie? I know we have 
grass-fed organic beef, which we found a supply in Miami. What is a place called Wild Fork? It's Wild Fork. If you have a Wild Fork nearby, which you might not, there's not a lot of them. Yep. Their prices are unbelievable. So grass-fed organic ground beef for cheaper. Don't let me knife myself here, baby. Mm -hmm. For cheaper than what we were getting just regular ground beef for. So five dollars and fifty cents a pound. Five fifty a pound, which honestly is ridiculous, but we'll take it. If you've been following our channel for a little bit, you know that my father has passed away not that long ago. So now we kind of wanted to give this thing one last outing. So what do you think, it's, Bailey? It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's good, right? Yes. So one last outing and then probably it'll be time to then kind of move out of it and get it ready for my mom to sell. But dad, if you could hear us, your RV, we're having fun in it. I know you would appreciate that. All right, Natalie, what do you think? Camp cooking indoors, this is different for us. It is. Um, I mean, it's nice since the weather's not so great to be inside. It is. Well, and there's bugs like crazy outside. The sun goes oh. down and the bugs get crazy, so. Yeah, we made the mistake of camping in the, what are these called? The mangrove area. Yeah, kind of the mangrove <laughs> wooded section. Across over there is water and it's so much better. Yeah, if you, if you come to, what what is the state park right again? Sebastian Inlet State Park. Sebastian Inlet State Park. Very, very beautiful. Has its own private kind of cove, lagoon type of beach. Really beautiful. Plus there's regular full-on Atlantic exposure beach. That's just like you could walk to it or it's right down the street if you wanted to drive. Camp near the water, especially in the summer because the bugs on the mangrove kind of wooded side are crazy as soon as the sun starts yeah. dipping down. The no are monsters. They're far worse than the mosquitoes. Yes, for sure. Yeah. And then, I mean, literally you go 40 feet from the front of this RV and you get into a breeze and the bugs just aren't there. It I mean, looks so nice from the picture because it's so secluded back in here. Oh, uh, the picture. But it just means there's no breeze. Yeah, so. but it is a really beautiful place. We probably will come back through here in the winter. All right, so now I'm gonna add some taco seasoning. Usually I add all the different ingredients, chili powder, paprika, and all that kind of stuff, but hmm, rather than buying all that, Wild Fork had just taco seasoning. And it's actually really, really, really good. So the ground beef is done. And so now I'm just gonna make like a really simple pico just to go in with the meat and cheese in the casserole dish. So I'm gonna do some onions, some bell pe some little sweet peppers, some cilantro, and then I have some little tomatoes that I'm gonna chop up. Okay, so next is grating up some cheese. And I've got a couple different things that I'm gonna use. I've got some pepper jack, just some sharp cheese, and then this habanero, which is really good, but it is very hot. So I just wanna use a little bit of that. And then we'll put the casserole together and throw it in the oven. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put just a small layer down in the bottom of this meat so that those tortillas don't stick. I just have little organic corn tortillas that I'm gonna layer in here. Now I'm gonna really put a lot. <laughs> And then just do one more layer of everything and then it will go in the oven at 355 for about 20 minutes. Okay, so this is the finished product out of the oven. I think it came out pretty good. So I'm just going to serve it up with some avocado and a little bit of salsa on the top. We tried to eat dinner outside and enjoy the evening and the campfire, but the no seams were unbearable. So after a few bites, we packed up our dinner and headed back inside the RV. Good morning. We slept awesome, all of us. 
This morning, Natalie's made us tacos, some breakfast tacos, which is really awesome. And then today, we're gonna go out exploring around Cocoa Beach. All right, we are at Cocoa Beach. It's a little rainy today. Where are we, baby? We are at the world famous Ron John Surf Shop. These places are awesome. You're gonna love it. Let's go. Okay. This is the largest surf shop in the world at 52,000 square feet. Alright, we're leaving Ron John and oh here we go. It's raining but just drizzling. We are at Coconuts on the Beach. This is a restaurant that is right on the beach and we've been looking forward to eating here. So we've been dodging rain almost all day. It started about noon, I guess, maybe a little bit earlier. And it's just been raining all afternoon. So it's changed our schedule, but man, we're still at this super cool restaurant that we wanted to come to. We can't sit on the outdoor tiki bar, but we can certainly enjoy the covered section that's still open to the beach. So our waiter highly recommended the fish and chips, so that's what I got. So I got the mango mahi. The waiter also recommended this. Says it's one of the best things on the menu. I didn't mess around. Got the grilled mahi, fish tacos, and house salad, house dressing. Everything looks awesome. Coconuts on the beach? Awesome. Really awesome. Yeah. We love the fact that it's family owned, local establishment. The food's always better at places like that. And this place, no exception. No, that was really, really good food. We'll definitely be back. If you are in the Cocoa Beach area, coconuts <laughs> on the beach. We cannot give it a higher thumbs up than that. Yeah. All right, so tonight we are doing a sundown kayaking trip. Jason, what is this water? This is called Manatee Cove. We will be going into the Indian River Lagoon. Sweet. Manatee Cove, if you didn't hear, and we're going to go into the Indian River Lagoon and we should have some great stuff to see out there and see the sunset too. All right, Bailey and I just got in. Natalie's hopping in now. We're just gonna float here for the rest of the people in our tour to get all loaded. But man, what do you think, Bailey, so far? This is pretty cool. Right? You can see here all of the mangrove trees that are out here. We got fish jumping all over the place. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, isn't that awesome, baby? That's a mullet. Uh, mullet are a fish that live here in the system that everything except manatees is trying to eat. <laughs> so they will jump at every little thing. Uh, change in temperature, shadows, uh, move, any kind of movement, they consider that a predator. So fish, the fish will jump and they have been known to jump into boats. Nice. They don't have any direction, they just jump. How's it going, baby? Really good out tonight. It's not too hot. It's awesome out tonight. The manatees are about 1,200 to a ton, 1,200 pounds to a ton. Uh, anywhere between nine feet and 13 feet long. They are big animals. Um, they are related to elephants. Matter of fact, they have four little toenails on the end of their flippers that are a throwback to when they were back. You know, they were related to elephants. The toenails serve no purpose whatsoever, but they're there for them. So. Uh, they never come out of the water. Manatees are, are related to yeah, elephants. Marine mammals. Didn't know that. Uh, so right there on that dock, if you can see that bird, how cool. There he goes, he turned his head. 
Yeah, buddy, we're looking at you. All these trees that are around us with these roots that just kind of creep out into the water, like all of these trees around here are on stilts. It's mangrove trees, and these are the seeds from the mangrove. And they just float in the water, like this little thing right here is the leaf, like the stem where it's sprouting, the rest is kind of the seed. And this brown section here will, will send roots out. And this will just land on the shore somewhere and kind of just drop that spike, will settle down in, it'll drop roots, and that stem will grow, and next thing you know, you got a mangrove tree. So we're going out now to look for a dolphin. They come in here to hunt in the evenings. So hopefully we have a couple dolphin sightings. So way off in the distance, we can see the power plant. That's where the manatee goes sometime. When the temperatures drop down, they'll just go hang out by the power plant where there's a natural flow of warm water out there for them to just chill out in. So over toward the power plant, we can see the dolphin out there surfacing. That is super, super cool. I'm thinking that the sunset is gonna be beautiful. Anytime there's that much cloud, but the sun is still breaking free, means sunset's gonna be amazing. This is the Indian River. We say river in air quotes, because it's not really a river. It's an estuary. The river uh, is about 156 miles long. Its average depth is about four feet, uh, a little bit deeper in some spots, a little bit shallower in others. The dolphins live in the entire area. You can see them in the distance over there. There's uh, two different kinds of dolphin. The Atlantic bottlenose dolphin, which is the big one that most people associate with Florida. It's the big gray and white one. The Miami Dolphins have it on their helmet, uh, the NFL team. Uh, these guys are called the Indian River uh, Lagoon Dolphin, and they live their entire lives right here in the lagoon. They never go out in the ocean. So as promised, check this out. Beautiful sunset. So, by the way, we are with Calypso Kayak Tours. If you want to do something really awesome like this, they have all different kind of tours. Some are day, some are night. Really great operation. Jason, our guide, is phenomenal. Super nice guy and knows this area like the back of his hand. And just like that, ah, the sunset's almost over. The environment out here changes a little bit when the sun is gone. So we're gonna see what we can find. I think this is one of the most beautiful things that we've done. This is just really amazing. I think we need to do more kayaking. This is awesome. <laughs> the sunset was beautiful. And we got to see dolphins. Yeah. Really beautiful and so peaceful. Yeah. So right out there, that ripple across the water is mama and baby dolphin. Oh, there they are surfacing. How cool is that? Wow, that is awesome. What do you think, Bailey? So right in front of us are about five or six dolphin that are kind of chasing, herding, gathering fish for their dinner tonight. Here we go. Oh, right there. Check him out. Check him out. What's that? There he is right there. Look at them, all of them. How cool. Okay, so now we're going to be looking for bioluminescent jellyfish that aren't technically jellyfish, but they don't sting and they glow when you touch them. So let's see if we can find some. All right, so Bailey got one of the jellies. 
Can you see that bioluminescent? Yeah, well, you could a minute ago. It's not really glowing right now. Oh, she got two. Two? I do. Oh, that's oh, a big I catch. I felt something All right, so go ahead and show them, baby. But they're not. Oh, here, show them the light. They're not glowing right now. Okay, so that's. Oh, they're slimy. See their little tentacles? There they are in there, and then let's turn the lights off. I can't get them to and grow. see if you can shake them. There you go, you okay. got them. Oh, can I, can I hold it? Yeah. So, so it's really dark, but down in here, let's see if I can get them to light up. How we doing? Good? We got a couple of them. Jelly? Yeah. Another one. Yay. So we got a bunch of them in this jar here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. Oh let's see. Oh yeah, you can see them. Let's see, I just... No way, that is so cool. All right, so that's what they look like. It's like just a piece of gel. It's the weirdest thing. All right, so Bailey's got one of the jellies in your hand. Look at that guy. So cool. How does he feel, Bailey? Jelloey. All right, we are back, and that was amazing. Really, truly one of the best things we've done. On our way back from kayak. Check out that. It's 12.23 a.m. We are back at the state park in our campsite. We have all showered, we have all eaten something, and now it's time to just get some sleep. We'll see you in the morning. All right, so we made it. We are with Brian from Pure Aloha, and we're doing surf lessons today. This is something we have wanted to do for a lot of years. Something Bailey has been hounding us to do. She owns a surfboard, hasn't ever been on it. so. Today's the day to learn how to surf. When we're talking about a surfboard, we have the deck of the surfboard, which is the top. We have the front of the surfboard, which is known as the nose. Okay. We have the back of the surfboard, which is known as the tail. Okay. Okay. The sides of the surfboard are known as the, the rails. Okay. Okay. Uh, today, we're going to teach you guys plain surfing, which is basically plain, flat, even. So if you start to fall out like this and your chest comes away from your core, you can't roll up those old fashioned imaginary windows. There's no crank here to do that. So what you gotta do is take your bottom and drop it, right? And if you start to fall backwards and you have your pelvis here, you gotta drop it and just like Elvis, okay? First move in surfing, eyes forward, head up. Ready? It's like a burpee, pop. And I push and I turn. I'm gonna show you the professional way at full speed now. It's called the pop-up. Ready? Now. Bam. I don't expect you guys to do that, okay? <laughs> right, there you go. Okay, Bailey, this time when you put your hands back, pop up. You know how to do a burpee, pop. There you go. Very good, very good. All right, so Pure Aloha, Brian is really awesome. And uh, he's a lot of fun, teaching us a lot of stuff, getting Bailey to figure out the mechanics on it. I think Natalie and I are picking it up pretty well, but it's just a brand new thing for Bailey to get the concept. But she's doing awesome. Really, really awesome. This is so awesome. Oh, head. oh there's the <laughs> downward dog. Head up. Head up. All right, first attempt. Bailey did not get up, but nobody gets up on their first attempt. That was much better. Yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Little crabs. little crabs, yeah. Oh, oh look at him. he wants to bear into my hand. These are small ones, sometimes you get them really big. Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Run back in.
are. Once you get the mechanics of standing on the board, you can do it every time. We have had such a great week here at Cocoa Beach. You know, wanted to give special thanks to my mom for letting us use her RV. So awesome. Thank you, Mom. And guys, we'll see you next time. See ya.